welcome back, Poconauts, to another wonderful adventure in the world of Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. Back again are your guides, Andrew, as always, and yes. back with special attention, because he now has his voice recorded, is our great friend. Seriously, you didn't want to say anything, Mike? Uh, <laughs> you're putting the whole setup I gave you there. It's Mike, but more importantly, it's Mothra. Yay, Andrew's happy again. Yes. So Mothra is sassy, which is best, because she's totally a sassy one. She's like, oh, heck no, you ain't not catching me. Yep. Oh, yeah, she got freeze-dried, too. Yes, which is a good, good move. And our hidden power is grass. Correct. Everyone else is 55 except Kavi, because there's nowhere good for Kavi. That makes sense. All right, but, so we can start. You did sure we ever fight this guy? No, yeah. we didn't fight this guy. Are you sure you want to leave Mothra up front? But whatever, it's fine for this battle. We've so got to show free. Mothra off. Okay. This is a bad place to show Mothra off. Yeah, I was trying to explain that, but... Well, I didn't know he'd have that. Okay, well, what are you going to do? He's got a super powerful fighting and dark type moveset. Yeah, I was going to go with Kavi. Or Popcorn, you think? Is he more defensive enough to take the hit? She? But Kavi can tank a fighting hit. What is the... What is it going to use against... If you think so. I think it's going to use a fighting attack against Mothra. If Kavi dies, it's not the end of the world to me. But... True. Because I'm the one who has to train something else. <laughs> she does. Okay, I think I made the right choice. Yeah, well, now you better kill in one shot, because it's clearly going for a minute. I believe in Kavi. No, wrong. Alright. Hair Slash is the more powerful, by the way. Yeah. Come on, Kavi. Kavi. Kavi, V, 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 V for victory. Do it. Yay. Alright, you win then. So, yeah. talking about dragon types, you said your favorite dragon type is Dragonite, and you were saying yeah. friends was. Flygon with a special feeling for Altaria. Yeah, I didn't read what Pokemon was coming out. It doesn't matter, just leave it. Okay, yeah. It's either grass or fighting or ste it's steel and something. Yeah. What does, do you want to do? Does Snelly have type advantage? I don't know, but I'm always happy with Snelly going out. <laughs> you want Snelly to die after the last time. Snelly dies, I don't care. Yeah. So, dragon types, for me... I don't know. Um, I've always been partial to Salamence, just yes. because I always like having one. It's not because I like the design, but just I, I like the stat spread. And, yeah, see, that's like, my conflict with like Salamence and uh, who else was I thinking about? I guess mainly Salamence is that, yeah, it's like a really good, strong Pokemon, but do I care for how it looks? Eh? Oh, there's no more. I forgot about Cosmo. He's gone. I was looking for items. It's okay. He's, he did a good job. He was amazing. I miss Cosmo. Oh, Trainer that's tips, a... thick pad for coat. Okay, should Is we go ice? up first? Yeah, we should go up first. Yeah, I don't want to deal with ice. I mean, that'll take us. Oh, there's an item. I also really like Gudra. I think Gudra's really cute, and I like his Barney colors. I think my favorite to have on my team, though, is probably a Garchomp. Just because, even though it can't fly, it's just very cool looking. Like, if I was picking something, you didn't want to show it off, and a battle it was for sure going to win? Nah. I think we should check the ice. The cave up top. See, I feel like the ice is going to be just for an item, and the cave is going to be the next way to go. No. If you want to check the cave, we can. You know this cave is a dead end? This is the snow. This is the second part of the Lanthanite cave. It's where you get ice beam and all that. Oh, so we technically caught a Pokemon here, right? Yeah, we already caught it here. Yeah. Well, I mean, caught, quote unquote. Yeah, this is just the second part of the cave. Okay. So what move would you like to see Mothra use? Freeze dry, even though it's not going to be very effective, because it's cool. Alright. Huh. <laughs> More like cold. Huh. <laughs> Uh, uh. Did it turn him blue? Da boo dee da boo da. I think it turned him blue when it hit. Let's see. Yep. That's really cool. I He's like... blue. If he was green, he would die. I gotta see what that looks like on other Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be a reflex. 
And here's the thing, when we had Cosmo, I was not checking as regularly as I am now. No, but... Here, you wanted to see it. Yeah, I wanted to see what it looks like. The, it, keeps every, it keeps everyone blue, it's really cool. I don't know, how do you feel about Garchomp? I think I like it. I think I mainly like it because Cynthia's kind of cool and it's her main. And Garchomp's playable in like the Pokémon fighting game, and so I like him there. He can actually fly, right? He just like sort of glides over the ground. Or yes. Something weird. He's a land shark. He can swim through water as if it were land. He can swim through land as if it was water. Yes, that's definitely what I said, and not the reverse. <laughs> oh, and I see Rock might be good for Who's He What's. Okay, now I'm getting sick of running into things. Yeah, we can just, you know, fight all these things, unless yeah. unless there's some other move he has. I don't think Silverwind's so exciting. No, and it's not a lot of pee, -pee. We didn't We didn't check the area down, but let's see if the other area leads us to Lanthanite Core. I don't think we're playing the post game. Upwards. Oh, sorry, you said down and I got confused. No, 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 eventually we'll have to check the down to the right. But, um, I don't think that, uh... I don't think we're gonna play the post game, so. Oh no, this is more of this. There's still more till you get to the land of night core, but this is probably where you get the ice beam then. Oh good, I think someone could use it. There's Whee! like. Whee! Uh, Sorry, what were you gonna say? <laughs> there's like icebergs or something where the items are on, like ice things. Okay. I don't. I don't remember too much about it. So I'm just gonna. Skiddly doop there's, around. There is something up there. Oh, I didn't do that right. Uh, I think I don't know how. Wee wee. This is my scientific method of move around a lot and hope it works. Oh well, there's something. Okay, well I guess we can get to that. It's ice beam! Yay! Sure. That's the most important thing. I think there's some other stuff here too. Yeah, should we teach it now? Yeah, of course. You should teach it instead of light screen. Oh yeah, that's true. We're never gonna set that up. I'm gonna replace freeze dry, which is super effective against water types. No, I wasn't planning on that. <laughs> we could use that. Goodbye, light screen. I, I mean, think we should teach it to Snelly too. Snelly really grass. Is Snelly a special attacker? Yes, Snelly's so. special. Go for it. So I think Snelly's yours. You do whatever you want to Snelly. <laughs> oh boy, I get the snail. I have what nothing to do with it. Hmm. No, you yeah. nice about what to get rid of. Yeah, I don't like Mud Bomb. It misses too much. Is Earthquake physical? Yes. It's odd. There's like no good special Earth ground Earth moves. Earth Power, I guess. How is it not bad? I mean, how is it bad? Not enough Pokemon learn it who need it. I'm guessing you can swim on that. Yes, but I was trying to think of how to get up properly, but... Ooh, another item. Yep, and there's another one down as well. They ain't shown. Thank you. But you might want to check that land first so you're not. Okay. <laughs> Listen, it's you give. Bouncing back constantly. Yeah, here's the thing though. You give me an input, I do that input <laughs> without thinking. Okay, well, what can I do? That's so much. So, um, yesterday yeah. I went to go and see the. Uh, what movie was it? To go see the Pets 2 movie. Right. Which was very cute. It was absolutely adorable, in my opinion. Then there was, um... <clears throat> I went to see the night beforehand, the Dark Phoenix movie. You know, I didn't think the Dark Phoenix movie was so terrible. And then I watched the Angry Joe... You didn't want to go through the cave? Actually? I wanted to try to get those items first that we missed. It, it doesn't take us out anymore. It doesn't? Okay. Eventually, it's going to lead us to the Lanthanite Core, which we'll have to backtrack. All right. So, back to Dark Phoenix, which I know nothing about and have no input for. Uh, I was more getting into the sense that... Oh, apparently I was wrong. I'm sorry. Never mind. Go back into the cave. Alright, back in the cave with you, Timmy. I have no idea where the Lanthanite core is. Oh, well. But... So, Phoenix person. Yeah, so... I really thought, you know... At first, I thought it wasn't so terrible, and I saw the Angry Joe review, and I was like, I sort of agree with everything they were saying in the Angry Joe review. So I was like, eh, I don't know. 
not as happy about it. I do sort of get it. It's like this is the end of X Men. It is. Well, yeah. Fox doesn't own the property anymore. And oh, right. They said they're not making anything for a while. You have to somehow. I don't. Even... I think it's a kind of go around thing. Is it? Or am I crazy? I don't know. I can't figure it out myself. Oh, I, I see it. I see. Ah, oh, darn it! I was wrong. It must be... You, you have to hit it from the spot next to the bowl. Yeah, I see, right. Why am I pointing at the screen? No one can see me pointing at the screen. It's okay. I, I thought it was adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Like Secret Life of Pets too. Exactly. Oh, is there something in the water? Oh, sorry. Was there? Oh. It's like hmm. a dark spot. I can't tell. Oh, well, there's, they made cream to get rid of that. No, it's nothing I can interact with. Okay, so the lanthanite core must be up that waterfall, which we can't get to right yeah. now. Yeah. This is going to bother me until I get it right, so... No, Buckle it's... up, polka dots. Oh, I got it. There we go. Yay. And was it worth it? No! Yeah. Of course it was. Why is it not worth it? it at least, at minimum, sells for like $4,800. Okay. Even if you don't use it, which we can use it if you want to. I guess probably Frost was the only one who hasn't had enough experience to still get something out of it. As in fighting? Is that how that works? Enough effort values. In the beginning of the cave, there was an area we didn't explore, but whatever. Yeah, we'll go back to it eventually. When we have fly. Okay. Right, well, it's we're gonna thing... backtrack anyway to get to these trainers that are yeah. down left. So we'll probably just get back to the entrance of the cave at some point. Yeah. Alright, who should we put up front? Uh. I don't know, people tend to use ice and fighting types here. Hmm. Well then, Kavi's the best option. Okay. There's actually a better type than that, but sure. What well, were you gonna say, stripes? No. Who are you gonna say? Against fighting and... Never mind. No, I wanna hear your opinion. Please tell no, me. It's fine. I, I, I would have said that butter's gonna be better here, because anything that... It's going to be fighting and... Fi I'm sorry, when I meant fighting times, I meant other butters. Oh, well that's different. Well, it's fine, leave Kavi up front and let it get some experience. Just heal oh. it beforehand, because it's going to get obliterated by something if, you know, on the back. Yeah. Don't kill in one shot. Yeah. But here's the problem, we're not getting any more super potions! That's fine. I'm not that concerned. Okay. Only the toughest can make it through this mountain. Says me, silly guy. Says Ace Trainer. He's an Ace Trainer. Oh, he has a fossil Pokemon. Oh, I was gonna say, it looks like an Ice Fanfy. No, no, it's a fossil kind. It's so it's probably to part rock, so I don't like that scenario. Butter, no. save me. I don't think it's rock. All fossil Pokemon are part rock. They are? Yeah. Name one that isn't. While I do this. <laughs> Thinking about it. Yeah, use rock slide. Alright, well, regardless of that, it's a fan made game. They could have had something else. I guess that's true, but. I feel like they don't want to break the rules too much. The other one I know is rock electric, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, like. Isn't Whatchamahui Graveler that? Alolan Graveler. Alolan Graveler, yeah. Flamethrower! What? We're gonna learn Flamethrower on Kavi. Oh, that's... Get rid of Flame Burst. Yeah. Yeah, Flame Burst. If there's any triple battles, I don't think Flame Burst has another use. No, that's fine. And triple battles stink anyway. This is an ice, uh, something. It's got thick fur and all that. It eventually evolves into a dragon. We're just gonna punch it. Maybe it's Ice Dragon now, I can't tell. Uh, what was I thinking about playing through? Oh, triple battles. I don't like triple battles, there's too much trying to think and there's no real strategy you can form. But even worse are rotation battles. If you play against the AI, they automatically rotate to like the best scenario for them, because they can predict what you put in. What? Is it's it fighting? A fairy Ice. Oh. This isn't a good choice then i don't know it's just very fast i'll tell you it's gonna outspeed us for sure yeah and you said it's fairy right 
so yeah. butter is double so weak to fairy. It's a special attacking fairy. Ice. Fairy ice. I guess I'll go with stripes. My other thought was Kavi, but... Stripes. It's probably not gonna kill stripes in one hit. No. Oh. He went for ice beam. Ooh. No. It eventually learns Moonblast. It's actually a pretty good thing. It's just... It's really hard. The thing that's actually most common on this route yeah. is Puff Puff, which is the basic form. Meteor Mash is... is... Which has more accuracy, because it's going to be quad effective. 95% on Metal Claw, 90% on Meteor Mash. Okay. Thank you. But, um... The Puff Puff that's the uh, main thing on this route uh, evolves into this if it has higher speed, evolves into the other version if it has higher attack. Okay. So it's like Tyrogue. It's, they're both 530 bases. They're not terrible, it's just... I like Mothra better. Yeah, well, I know. We all know. Yeah. Uh, oh, so there's another cave over here. Another entrance over here. I guess we should go in. Okay. We're going in. This uh, the Night Cave. So maybe this will lead you to that area you didn't go to before. Oh boy, it's my favorite Pokemon again. It's okay. Can I actually run? No. No, it has the, the trap thingy. Let's see Flamethrower. Yeah, that's always a good excuse. Shadow yeah. Sneak. Sneak it up on Kavi. Yeah. Sneak, sneak. Oh, it looks really classic. That looks like GBA Flamethrower. Oh, they probably just ported the animation then or something. Shh. Let me pretend they were doing it to be nostalgic. What? Let me pretend that they were doing it to figure out if you should go down or across the water. You're yeah. Just... I'm not good at making decisions. Avalanche. It's a physical ice type move. I think yeah. 30 dam I think 60 damage, and then double if it hits second or something. If you took damage previous to it going off. Oh yeah, that's that basic. It's revenge, but ice. Yep. Revenge is best served cold. And revenge is sweet, and therefore revenge is ice cream. Cynthia likes ice cream, so that makes sense. Yes. Wait, this was to the right of where we started the cave, isn't it? Yeah, so we should go down and finish going to the right from the normal area. Right. Perfect, we've circled back around exactly how we yes. were. Uh, yes, all according to plan. Whereas we could have gotten to the end of that cave very strategically if you take it out and then go up. Ah. Uh, it's interesting. Stop. Poop. It's okay. Yeah, but I get sick of random encounters. Wait. Now you get these all the fun you ever wanted on these. Yeah. Alright. Fight me! Wait. Hey dude, this ice is like totally slippery, man. It's slippery? Then what are you what are you doing over there? You slipped over there? Glace on, she's a really cool dancer, Glace on. Move to the group now, you remember that song from Rugrats, really? Of course! Because I do too. My mom and I sing it sometimes. Cynthia is the coolest dancer. Everybody she's got knows. real neat hair. She's got those big brown eyes. Something about putting on moves. Get ready to accessorize. Try I, all her outfits, girls. I didn't know the rest of the song, but that's Shake great. it, shake it. She's so fantastic. Just don't break it when she's doing aerobatics. That's the ice water type, by the way. Thank you. That's mine. I was too distracted by going over that stupid song. I can pay attention to the song in the Pokemon. No worries. Thank you. Okay. Frozen? No, no. No, but more damage than I like. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. We're gonna heal it. Yeah, we'll be fine. I believe in butter. Yes. I believe it is butter. Okay. I can't believe it's not butter. Well, that note, between the next recordings, I'm making popcorn, I think. <laughs> With butter? It has light butter. My attempt to not be as fattening when I eat it. I ate an entire uh, thing of apricots yesterday. That was a huge mistake. We're dried about apricots in apricots. another episode too. I didn't think so. I ate this entire thing of dried Mediterranean apricots from Target. My dad ordered me some extra ones. Okay. It's got five sir five pieces of serving size. Serving container four. Only 400 calories for the whole thing. 
There's still a couple pieces left in there, so I probably eat more close to 350 calories worth of it. Oh, uh, this is the, the Pokemon that bothers. Yes, because it's a literal object with a face. It's reasonable to bother you for that reason. I mean, am I just getting old and grumpy? Because I felt that way after the Pokemon Direct, too. <clears throat> after Pokemon Direct? After the Pokemon Direct with the... Seeing the new Pokemon and the giant Pokemon thing, I'm like, Err! Why can't you just go back to Mega Evolutions? Those at least were creative! I think that they're sort of post our generation of Pokemon at this point. That ever since they came out with Pokemon Go, and they saw the success of the mass market of it, and the little kids got back. This is the most common encounter, by the way. Okay, thank you. I'm not gonna fight it. Okay, whatever. But, um, it's very ice. Uh, ever since they've sort of gotten into this new era of Pokemon, it sort of stopped being our Pokemon. Okay. It's but here's one thing. Pokemon has always been for the next batch of 10-year-olds. It's never really been for us. I feel like for a while, it felt like it was for us. Okay, where do you feel like that stopped? Because I'm interested to hear. For me, it felt like all the way through Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, it still felt mostly for us. Like, there was new mechanics, but... Oh, I guess it is still part dragon. It, it's that didn't... Not... Oh, okay. It's not really until Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee that I felt like... That, that for me, was the breaking point. Like, everything up until that point for me... Was still what we were used to enough. Okay, but that's the side game. You don't think any of the other side games were for a different audience? Oh! I don't view it as a side game. Kavi, no! Uh, Kavi's dead. Oh no, Kavi's alive. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna bleep out me saying poop because I think it'll be funny. Okay, sure, whatever you want to do. Put in the other Pokemon I don't care about. That's a good move. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you missed out on Kavi dying, so I want you to see Snelly die. <laughs> I, I wasn't so concerned about Kavi, I didn't think he was gonna die. But, um, I don't know. I, I don't view it as a side game. Okay, because I do. And I think that might be where our difference is. I, I feel like this is, this next game is built off of that concept. It's I did notice that. Pure drag. Cause, yep. Because they're adding in the giant Pokemon thing from it. They're adding, what else do they add from it? Let's go Pikachu and Eevee had giant Pokemon? I thought... Oh no, I was thinking about the phone game. That's from Pokemon Go. Yeah. yeah. Tracton is... Steel, Steel Dragon, I think, or something like that. Yeah. Oh, he's butter. fine if you heal it, honestly. Yeah, but let's spread the love around. Whatever. But, uh... Hmm. Train punch. Yeah. Uh... I don't know. Unless we flinch. He's got like speed boost or something. Or yeah. That thing that he absorbs electric, those are the two different abilities. Yeah. Uh, it's I... only 490 base, it's not even like crazy. Yeah. Cause I guess, like, Pokemon's always had references to the older games. Like, Sun and Moon had Red and Blue come back. Yeah. And, gosh, how many Pokemon does this guy have? A lot, apparently. Just leave Butter in, Butter will take care of it. Uh, well, you don't think Mothra will take care of it? What was it? Turlard? Turlard. It's a uh, ground dragon. Yeah, I want to see Mothra do it. Sure, whatever. Who cares? Okay. okay. <laughs> You're so done. But, uh, regardless of that, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's, it's distinctly different now. We'll see. If the game comes out, we're going to play it. So, yeah. if the game comes out and most of the mechanics are mostly the same. Then I won't feel that way. I'll feel like it's still pretty much Pokemon. If all it is is, hey, there's a, some... You probably want a Hyper Potion on that. Yeah. Um, if all... You probably want to heal Snowy. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. Thanks. 
Here's the thing, I don't think they're gonna change the core battle mechanic, so it's still gonna be Pokemon. It's just these extra little frills. It's like being annoyed by the garnish on your food. Well, I think they've advertised the extra stuff a little hard. Yes. For me, I was not as attached to the gym battles and honestly liked the trials. I thought they were nice and interesting. I feel like my one problem with the trials is they weren't, like, good puzzles. I didn't expect them to be good puzzles. Like, I like a little bit of puzzles, and I didn't get that. What I got was, a uh, you know, find the one difference in this picture game. That happened? I didn't remember that. That was Kaiwi's? There was the fire trial, where it was the three dancing Marowaks. Oh, right. I wasn't even focused on that part of it. Honestly. They didn't give me any challenge or fun, so that's why I didn't really didn't care for them. They to level them up against nah. the opponent? Nah, I'm lazy. But, uh... So I forgot where maybe we were Maybe you're lazy is why you didn't like the concept of using the, uh... The, uh having a guess between the Marowaks? Maybe? I mean, like, it didn't engage me or something. I don't know how to put it. Were gyms ever... Oh, yeah, this is the, um... It's not fairy type. It's something else. It's ice... Something. Flamethrower! Should work. I just can't remember yes, what other type is for this. I don't know. I guess gym battles were kind of mindless, too. Yeah, gym battles were exceedingly mindless. And, and you just... The, it was never hard to get through a gym. The most complicated gyms were like, um, where we had to get the switches in the third Lieutenant Surge's gym. Oh, well, that one's a load of horse hockey. It's more painful. Koga's gym without a guide, Sabrina's gym without knowing what to do. Mm -hmm. you know, it's more painful than anything. No, I see what you're saying. I guess I can't really defend gyms, but I also can't defend the trials either. I don't know, I don't like them. Um, I would have liked if Mega Evolution was a little bit more prevalent in the game, but I did sort of see the problem with Mega Evolution in playing um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Because I only trained Pokemon that could Mega Evolve and then used their Mega Evolution the entire game once we got it. A yeah. And I literally would only fight with one Pokemon each battle set, and it would be who Mega Evolved. And that was it. That was yeah. the game. And I totally see the problem with Mega Evolution. But compared to Z-Moves and Giant Pokemon... Oh, no, no, Z-Moves is terrible, in my yeah. opinion. It, it is one hit end. I just think you have to figure out a better balance for Mega Evolution and how... If you really got yourself messed up with this one. I don't know how you... Yeah, I don't know what I did. I'm so confused. I'm... I need to get on the left side of one you of the right... You need to hit... You see the one that's a little bit to your left? Yeah. No. Oh, it's far to your left. It's off your screen. You need to be in front of that somehow. Yeah. Um, okay. I got an idea. Down... Okay, left, up, right. Okay. Yeah, that's where we just were. Up. Good job, Andrew. Okay. Left. Right. Oh, right. Down, left, down, or up. Oh, I think it's. I think I got it. Is it up next? Left, up, down. Up. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, thank you. I wasn't looking at anything. I was literally just thinking it through in my head. I was like, there's got to be something we're missing. Yeah, I guess Kavi's gotten enough extra levels. Sure. Put up Butter. Yeah. We'll Butter's be... bad. Yeah. We'll be it fun. won't cause me to not curse. Whatever. Um... My mommy taught me to use nice language. Oh, it's a double pluff, battle. Pluff and pluff pluff? Oh my yeah. god, that's terrifying. Man. I know. The ice panda. Of, of the adorable fairy ice types. Right. Uh, yeah, no, Butter can handle it, right? Yeah. We trust Butter. One of these things. Lava Plume, right? Yeah. What, wouldn't that, would it hit all of them? I don't know. Yeah, no. it would hit Butter. That's why I was joking. Would it really have mattered? How did you miss? Because the ice storm? 
Unless their ability is Snow Cloak. That's very possible. I would not be surprised. <sighs> Sorry. Blizzard! Oh no! Is Blizzard 100% accurate in hail? I feel like that's a Probably. thing. Whatever. If she doesn't have any other Pokemon, this is gonna be fine. Oh no, it's a... Uh, that. It's more powerful one. Yeah, but I think Butter can just punch that one. Should be able to. Yeah. And we should be able to hit the small panda, burn it alive! Hopefully. Thank you. Catch Good on night. Butter and die. Yeah. Die, Pluff Fluff. Puff Fluff? Yeah. I... Puff Fluff, Fluff, Puff, Puff, Mrs. Puff from SpongeBob. All the fluff. Yes. I would name it Mr. Fluff. Was that super... Okay, it was. Yeah, yes. I don't know what, what the other typing is for it. I can't remember. It's too confusing. I just know it's not a fairy. Yes. <laughs> but its other evolution is fairy, who we're probably going to get one of. Oh, she's gonna... Yeah, she's going to set out the other one. I bet you're right. Wow! You could write this game. Yeah, well, we should be able to kill it with, um... Just use Dig. Okay. Well, I was gonna say, it has Lopunny's cry. You can't hear it, but that's the woo woohoo thing. Yeah, but Dig should keep us out of it. It's, it's very fast. It actually might outspeed Butter. Nah, but did not outspeed Kavi. Yeah, as long as Kavi kills it here, then we don't even think about it, but whatever. Yeah. Alright, good. Yeah, well, Kavi is way leveled than... than yeah. Fine. What was I gonna say? I feel like Gen 4 is the time where they started getting a little too crazy with the cries in Pokemon. I never paid attention to the cries. I mostly played without the sound on, because huh. I would play on my DS in a lot of public places. Ah, uh, you see, I was a closet Pokemon fan. Like, it took me until, gosh, was it second to last year of high school? No, it was last year of high school to find someone else who liked Pokemon, because I ne literally never brought it up. Well, and I don't not, know why. It's not that I brought it up all the time, it's that I, I would just, like, I would be in the car with my parents, I'd be playing, or I'd be out... I'd go, on, I'd go on a train somewhere and I'd play while I was on the train or play while I was on the plane. Just, you gotta leave halfway through the island. You can't leave all the way through the bottom one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. All the way down. And you'll see... You gotta... No. No, no, no. Oh, oh you mean here. Yeah. You gotta and line like, yourself up. There. Like that? Up. Yep. Right? I gotta think. Or what if... I have to go like this, and this, and no. Nope. Okay. It's just Chuck Testa. Oh, I did get something. Just Chuck Testa? <laughs> have you never seen that ad? No, I have. Okay. It's, fu it's funny. It wouldn't be funny if, it, if I didn't know what it was. I mean, sometimes lol random is funny. Ah, oh. uh, Dream Eater. No, I don't know why that's entered my vernacular. Like, whenever I say nope. <laughs> you think it's nope Chuck Testa? Nope. Just Chuck Testa. Okay. I, I think this you. is going to lead us to where we were before with the cave. I bet you thought I was bad at this. Yes. Chuck Testa. <laughs> what? I don't know. You can't even get yourself back over to where you were failing before. No. I did it. I'm going to cry. Oh, yep. Oh, no. Uh, wait. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, no. <laughs> It's low. Derma. Oh, it's a elephant. That's ice rock for sure, then, I guess. Oh, it's probably the evolved form of the other one. Yes, it is. Okay. I forgot, you don't actually know what all these things look like. Right, I'm semi-blind. That used to be in the descriptions of the episodes until I got sick of writing it, so I stopped. Eh, seems fine at this point. Yeah. I don't think people are watching for that anymore, if they're still watching. I was gonna say, I don't think people are watching. I just cut it off there. <laughs> yeah, that's too funny. Yeah. Then, I think if this is... Nope. Okay. Oh, no, this looks like it's going somewhere new. All right, well, then let's stop here, and Poconauts, we'll see you next time, and we'll journey along on our wonderful adventure. So we'll sing the song again. Poconauts, they're really cool. Poconauts are cool. Do-do-do. Poconauts, they're really cool. Those Poconauts are cool. Do -do -do. I thought you were going to write it with drool at one point, and I was waiting for it. But you didn't.